what it do fam you know what it is and in this video i'm going to show you how to fix splice in the akai mpc software 2.11.3 in standalone follow me Now, before we get started, I want to say shout out to James Birmingham for giving me the heads up. He does have a YouTube channel. Got some nice music on there. If you want to go ahead and check some of that out, I will leave the link for his channel in the description. Now, let's get started. So here we have the MPC Live 2 in standalone. I don't know how good you can see this, but it is on MPC Software 2.11.3. Now I'm on the main menu. What we're going to do is go straight to Splice. So I'm going to double tap the menu button to go to the browser. And now we're on Splice. I'm just going to go to the top one, which says all of your samples. Let's go in there. Now from here, Audition is turned on. So it should play a sample every time one is selected. As you can see, it's not playing anything. And if I press the play button, it's still not playing anything. So what we're going to do is just scroll down. Uh, we'll pick one at random. There we go. We just loaded that into the memory. I'm going to double tap mute to go to the sample editor. And as you can see, the sample is blank. Now here is how we're going to try to fix that. We're going to go back to menu then we're going to go to preferences and we're going to hit reset preferences. Are you sure you wish to reset your settings? And we're going to click OK. We're not going to save anything to this project. It's an empty project. We don't need to save anything. So we're going to hit don't save. That didn't take very long at all. It rebooted the MPC. Let's go to an empty project. Now we're going to go back to Splice by going to our browser. Now we're going to tap on Splice. And now, as you can see, the Splice directory is empty. So now we're going to go back to our menu. We're going to go into Preferences. Now we have to go back to our Wi-Fi and reconnect the Wi-Fi. Now, once we're connected to Wi-Fi, we're going to scroll down to Splice. And from here, we can check for updates or sync our files. My current Splice library tells me I have 260 samples available to download. So let's hit sync. Also, keep in mind in doing this that anything that you customize inside of the preferences for your MPC, you will have to go back and redo that because we just cleared all of that stuff out. Keep in mind if you have a large splice library, it will take some time for it to download. Also, this example is being done on the MPC Live 2, but it should work exactly the same if you're using an MPC X an MPC-1 or the MPC Key 61. Now we're down to the last 20 files remaining, so it shouldn't be long from here. And as soon as it gets done, we'll test it and see if Splice is now working and we can load and edit our samples. It says your download from Splice has completed. The number of samples downloaded, 260. It told us we had 260 files in our library. Now let's tap OK. Now we're going to go back to the browser. We're in Splice already. So let's go back to all of our samples. I'm going to tap Audition. I'm going to turn it on Auto so that the samples will play when they're selected. And now let's see what we got. Now, before we finish up, let's load up one of these splice samples. Now, let's double tap our mute button to go to sample edit. And as you can see, the sample does show up and it works as it's supposed to. 
Again, shout out to James Birmingham. He left this comment on one of my latest videos and I tested it out to see if it was in fact working and I can verify that it is working on all devices that I have, which is the MPC Key 61, the MPC Live 2, the MPC X, and the MPC 1. Thanks for watching the video. Again, I hope that this helped you out. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.